It's uh, quarter after four in the morning on March 5th. We're loaded up and ready to go to Olympia to teach the legislators about the importance of bees. We're trying to let the legislatures know about bees and beekeeping and how important we are for agriculture. Most people, you know, look at the wings and the crown. They know right off what our agenda is. There's no question about it. Today is the first time that the Washington State Beekeepers has had an awareness building day in Olympia. We worked all year long in 2014 to uh, determine what the major issues are for beekeepers in Washington State. And that is now driving our legislative agenda and a lot of the activities that we have going. We have very large scale commercial beekeepers as well as mid-size uh, beekeepers and me, I'm a very small scale beekeeper, all committed to the same issues and trying to get the same kinds of support for honeybees in the state. Bees don't care about us. They don't care about us getting food. They go to the flower to get the food they need. In that beautiful dance between an insect and a flower, we get food. How food is made and how it comes to us. If people just go to a grocery store and they pick up their produce there and they never see the interaction between a flower enticing a bee or another pollinator to come to it. communicate very well with those who use pollination services. And they are very aware of the importance of bees to their crops. They don't get apples if they don't have bees. They don't set a good seed crop if they don't have bees. The trellis is doing great. Um, every now and then we have to come in and tighten up wires a little bit, but. We are a organic orchard, mainly apples, and we have granny and cameo and galas. A gala is not gonna pollinize a gala, so you need not only you know bees, but you need a different variety, whether it's a crab apple or a granny and a gala, because you need those bees to travel from different flowers and cross pollinate. So, without bees, you know I wouldn't have a crop of galas or grannies. You know they're just, you know if I got lucky, maybe I'd have three or four apples per tree. But these are all the little buds that will soon be apples. The bees do all the work. The first things that determines how successful of a crop you're gonna have, you know, if uh, you don't get the bees, the apples aren't gonna self-pollinate, and so you won't get any type of fruit set, and you won't have an apple crop. Right over here, it's a crab apple tree, and a crab apple can pollinate another apple tree. As far as apples are concerned, whether it's a crab apple or, or a gala or a granny, it's an apple tree. And so we have every 100 feet or 50 feet, depending on where we're at, um, we have a crab apple tree that we use for pollinizers. Um, so they take the pollen from there and then they put it into our galas or our grannies or our cameo and they pollinize. And then you end up with these weeds that dry out up on top of the soil. As we're better able to protect bees by using pesticides carefully, by providing good forage for them, 
it will tend to help us service the needs of agriculture better and will help ensure a more stable food supply at a stable price. We had to work a little bit harder than conventional farmers to keep the pest out and you know I know that we work quite a bit with them when when we want to spray, you know, we, we double check anything, you know, that we're going to spray and how it's going to affect the bees that might be in the area still. And, you know, we, we definitely take that into effect because we don't want to harm any, any bees that are going to be beneficial to us. I think that we need to remember that the honeybee is important not for the honey. It's important for the pollination. We can have other sweeteners and honey's great. It's way better than corn syrup, in my opinion. But the real value of honeybees is their pollination. Without the pollination from bees, you wouldn't have fruit. You wouldn't have berries. Vegetables that we eat are all set by pollinators. The, the seed is set by pollinators, the onions, carrots, radishes. You wouldn't have so many things in your diet that are so valuable and make your diet more interesting. Remember you were saying, how do I know where all these yards are? Memory, except for the next one, I'm not real sure where it is. 